What's up everyone? Welcome back for some more Madden 05. Fuck yeah. Alright, so yeah, this time I'm going to be showing off again another two of my created teams for the first time. The Turtles and the Rabbits. So, I have a feeling this is going to be a particularly interesting game. Um, and I'm sure it won't take you guys long to figure out the gimmick behind these two teams, but I have a feeling that the Rabbits are definitely going to win this one. They are favored to win. Uh, the two defenses are pretty even. The Rabbits have a better defense by like one point, but the Rabbits do have a better offense. But that being said, you never know. Again, you never fucking know. The underdog team won last game, so you never know what's going to happen. I just have a feeling that the Rabbits are going to win this one, though. So, But again, you never know. You never know. So I'll kind of explain the uh, gimmick behind these two teams once this game gets started here. Because I, I thought it was kind of a fun one. Fun uh, little gimmick with these two teams. And yeah, this this game could actually go either way now that I think about it. But Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. I know, I came up with really creative names for these characters. <laughs> So yeah, this should be an interesting game. So let me explain the gimmicks behind these two teams, which should actually be pretty obvious. So the Turtles. The Turtles actually have a lot of really good players on their team. The problem is that they're all extremely slow. So they actually have a lot of really good players. They also have some of the best players in the NFL as well on their team. Um... But a lot of the players on that team are extremely slow. So that's the main gimmick behind their team is that a lot of the players are really good. They're just insanely slow. Um, and then with the Rabbits, uh, kind of conversely, a lot of their players are really fast. But a lot of their players are not very good. So they have some of the worst players in the NFL, whereas the Turtles have some of the best players in the NFL, but they're really slow. So that's kind of the gimmick behind these two teams, is that the Turtles are really slow, but have, a, have actually some of the best players in the NFL. And the Rabbits are really fast, but has, have some of the worst players in the NFL. So again, that's kind of the gimmick behind these two teams. And, yeah, there he goes. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. That one dude almost had him, but he is gone. He's just like, nope. <laughs> if that one guy had actually done his job and tackled him properly, though, that wouldn't have been a touchdown. But the Rabbits, off to a quick start here. And there may or may not have been a joke about Rabbits being fast in there somewhere. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. That being said, though, the Turtles may be slow. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, the Turtles have no running game at all. Because their running back is extremely slow, and their fullback is extremely slow. And I mean extremely slow to the point where it's actually painful to watch at times. But they have no running game, but they do have one major offensive weapon. Their quarterback 
is a really good quarterback. He's just insanely slow, but his accuracy and um, power is really good. And he does have Randy Moss. And for those of you who know football, you know Randy Moss is a pretty fucking good receiver. So he does have Randy Moss. A lot of his other receivers are extremely slow, though. Um, oh, shit, he fumbled it. Jesus Christ. All right, well, I guess we won't get to see the Turtles on offense. God. Unless this gets overturned, but... Yeah, so if the Turtles go on to offense, basically... I'm going to be honest, their only chance is for the quarterback to throw it to uh, Randy Moss. Or they do have one good tight end if they go with... Because uh, their secondary tight end is Tony Gonzalez, who also, again, very good tight end. So if they go with a setup that has two tight ends and they send uh, the second one out for a pass, you know, Tony Gonzalez or whatever, then, um, then they got a secondary weapon as well. But, yeah, if the quarterback can get the ball to Randy Moss, then they should be in good shape. Also, the Turtles are okay with short passes as well to some of their slower receivers, so the play's reverse there. But their running game is non-existent. For the Turtles, their running game just does not exist. But again, if they can get the ball to Randy Moss, they're in good shape. So as you can see, they slowly get to the uh, get to the line there. Yeah, if they get the ball to uh, Randy Moss, they should be in good shape. Or again, if they go with some short passes. Oh my god, a fumble! <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be a train wreck for the Turtles, I have a feeling. But yeah. If they do get the ball to Randy Moss, they can make some plays happen. So, again, anything's possible, right? Even though it is second and 23. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, this is going to be a long-ass game. Wow, giving them a lot of time there. And that's the other thing about this team, too. Um, about the... Uh, about the Turtles is that they do have a really good offensive line. So the offensive line for the Turtles is really good. So that's the other thing that the Turtles have going for them is a really kick-ass offensive line. So again, for short passes they should be fine as well as uh, getting the ball to Randy Moss for some bigger plays. <laughs> so they slowly make their way to the line there. <laughs> God, one dude. That one guy was really taking his sweet ass time. Oh man, almost had it. I'm surprised he didn't catch that. Alright, so second and ten here. Oh, man, and he threw an interception. That is a bummer. That is exactly what they did not need. So, yeah, bad throw there, and now they have to rely on their defense to try to make a stop here. And he's gone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> His ass is just gone. 
Jesus, negative 11 compared to 121. Fuck. Yeah, no one was even close to getting him. Not even close. Man, this is going to be a long day at this rate for the Turtles. Yeah, at this point, honestly, I mean, if I was the Turtles, I would be happy just to get some fucking points on the board at this rate. Which, again, is entirely possible. I mean, you know, they could still win this. They're only down 14 nothing in the first quarter with 228 still left to play. But who knows? They could still win. I, I mean, you never know, right? Yeah, like I said, their running game is just non-existent because their running back is so fucking slow. Man, he got that ball out of there just in time. See, like I said, they're actually able to do short passes pretty successfully. Even though their receivers are super slow, they can pick up a decent chunk of yards. <laughs> He's so fucking slow. Uh, yeah, but they can actually have a successful short pass game. And a long passing game as well with Randy Moss. But their running game, again, is just completely non-existent. <laughs> Not even sure what the fuck he was going for there. That actually could have been a lot worse than it was. That should have been a sack. But yeah, their running game is just absolutely atrocious. Yeah, that got shut down pretty quickly there. Ooh, a fumble. Yeah, that is exactly what they did not need. So no luck there for the Turtles. So that's unfortunate.
All right, so that'll do for the first quarter. The rabbit's up 14-0, so we'll see what happens in the second quarter. Stay tuned, and until then, peace out.